Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna explain how crossbreeding and gardening work. Crossbreeding is when you plant two different seeds next to each other and the, uh, you will get a different seed when you harvest. For example, when if you, har if you plant jute and mandrake next to each other, you get jute. If you plant star anise seeds and almond seeds, you get jute. That's just an example. There are certain types of seed combinations that give other seeds. In the video description I have linked a page where it tells you all the different combinations that you need. Keep in mind that there are three types of soils. Shroud, Lanuskia and Thanalan. To, for a successful crossbury you need Thanalan soil. Because Lanuskia gives better quality and Shroud gives more quantity of of the results so we need only thanol and preferably grade 3 for the best outcome you can possibly get so let's get to the garden and I will show you silk is bad seeds Now one thing to good to know, when you plant your first seed, that one will not give any crossbreeding because it counts, the crossbreeding counts when you plant and if there is already not nothing beside the plant, you will not get anything. So to get uh, crossbreeding from the first plant, you need to remove it later. I'm, I'm just gonna show you now. So it doesn't matter which soil you use for the first one because you're gonna remove it once all the others are planted. I'm just trying to make space for the other. <laughs> My own inventory is always a mess. I'm gonna do some glaze nut as well. And I need some mandrake. Okay, let's plant the first one. The, the one you're gonna remove because it will not give crossbreeding, so it doesn't matter what you use. This combination I'm doing right now is apricot and glaze nut, which gives glaze nut seeds. So now the second one, I'm using grade 3 thanol and so because this one will give crossbreeding because there's already one next to it. And as long as they are next to each other, just don't plant two of the same next to each other. They need to be the combination you want. In this case, it's glaze nut and apricot that I'm doing. The middle ones are all glaze nut. The corners are apricot. And another glaze nut. Now we're gonna remove this one because when we planted it there was nothing next to it so it won't give any crossbreed. So we we'll remove it and plant it again but this time with grade 3 thanol and so on. The first time it doesn't matter what you use but the first one will. And now for this next combination I'm gonna do silk is bud and jute which gives thighs of narian onion. But I'm doing the first one with mandrake because I'm gonna remove it. The mandrake will make me get jute from this one I'm planting right now, but I'm gonna remove it and plant silky's butt so that it gives Thavnarian onion. Thavnarian onion is used to raise your chocobo. For uh, when you, your chocobo hits level 10, 
That's the only way to level it more, to feed it stuff not in onion. And this is the way you get them. You got plant jute and silk is bad. Silk is bad in the corners and jute in the middle. This one is jute. Now, now I remove this uh, mandrake and do silk is bad. That mandrake will made me get jute. We will see once I harvest them. I will show you what I meant. Now it's silk is bad. All right, that's done. Now we need to repeat the same. I repeat the same for the third one. Any soil doesn't matter and do mandrake so that you get jute from this middle one now I'm doing jute. That, that will make me get jute from this regardless. I'm doing that so I don't lose any seeds that I could gain. And remember you don't always get seeds, it's random, but you will always at least get, I've always gotten at least 6 if I'm using grade 3 tunnel and so 6 I mean out of the 8 from one garden patch I'm just repeating the same with silk is bad, jute obviously I will show you the result when I, it's done it will take few days but Oh yeah, about, you need to tend your plants at least once a day, or just to be sure I do it twice for e twice each day, I just, apparently if you fertilize, you, they will grow faster, but you don't need to do it, as long as you tend them so they don't weather away. Okay, now I've planted everything, I will just wait until they grow and I will see you then. Okay, a few days later, let's see what we get. The citrus bud have done grown. Can harvest now, hopefully we get some Favnarin on the seeds. Uh, shroud Wow, that's unlucky. There, we got one. Got another. So uh, the Savnaran onion is very rare. You most likely will get more shrub tea leaves. I didn't even get any seeds from this one. Anyway, now let's plant more bugs. Now since you have already jute there, you won't need to remove anything, since they already have stuff next to it when you plant. Hopefully the next batch will be luckier, more Savnarian onions, we'll see. Okay, 
we'll see in a few days how this goes. So I'll see when these grow. Okay, the night after we harvest the silky buds, the apricot was finished as well. So let's harvest and hope for glazed nut seeds. No seed on this one. Glazed nut seeds. Glazed nut seeds. And there's not six. We got three, so that's good. Sometimes you get three. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you get four. But yeah. So let's plant new apricots for even more glazed seeds. Since we, since glazed nut is already high planted here, when we plant apricot, it will crossbreed more glazed nut for us. So let's plant. Alright, so now it's just waiting game again. Remember to once in a while do f fertilize your crops and tent like this. You can buy fish meal from the housing area nursing. So my anticipation is the next thing that will be ready to harvest is probably the jute. So I'll see you then. Okay, we're back after like 20 hours or something after the after the last harvest. So uh, we see my jute jute is ready to harvest and glazed nut as well. So from these glazed nuts, we'll just gonna hope for more glazed nut seeds. Let's harvest. Got one seed. Another seed. Three. Wow, nice! We got four out of four glazed nut seeds. That was a really good crossbreed. And I'm gonna plant. Since apricot is here, I'm gonna plant cracker roots for to get silkis bud seeds. Alrighty, and now remember we had to put mandrake here when we harvested so that I can get jute from this one otherwise if I wouldn't have gotten anything if I didn't do mandrake because mandrake is cheaper than silkis but so I do did mandrake next to this one so this will be jute seeds nice But this one will have a chance for Thavnarian onion, not jute, because there was silkis bud next to it when I planted it. No, it was shrouty. Thavnarian is rare. If you don't, if you're not lucky, you'll just get shrouty. This one is jute. Even. That was bad. Shrouty. That wasn't so good. All right, try this one. Yes, Savdarian onion seeds, nice. This one won't be Savdarian because when we planted there was mandrake next to it. Jude seeds, that's fine. 
Hopefully this one is Savnarian. Yes! Nice! And this last one, just fingers crossed, it's Shroud, it's not Shrouty, but Savnarian. Hopefully. Ah, it's you. Oh well. Okay, now we have Silky's butt on all. Now we don't need to remove anything, there's already plants. Now we can just plant more jute for more Savnarian ornaments. So just do jute on all. So uh, you just kinda rinse and repeat after this point. Obviously when the silk is but done growing I'll plant more. And then these jute I'm planting now will grow and so on and so forth. So just it's just rinse and repeat after this. So yeah, this is all I needed to show you. If you have any questions or any feedback or anything, let me know in the comment. If you like this guide, share and all that stuff. Hopefully you find it helpful and enjoy. I'm just gonna finish planting. Now I have the, a lot of jute. I will. I can do the rack for my house the entrance rug. I will show that in another video. I will sh do a tour through my mansion. Take care, see you on next video and goodbye from Ashelia.